Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video is a super exciting collab with my beautiful, wonderful friend and sister Erica Conga. Um, Erica is just one of the most wonderful people you could ever hope to meet. She is so beautiful inside and out and I love her so much and we had, I think, originally planned to do a New Year's Eve look, um, however, things didn't go to plan. <laughs> um, that was a long story anyways. So we decided to go with the Jackie Aina palette. It is one of Erica's favourites and it's new to me. I haven't, well, obviously I have now. This is my first time trying this palette. So we decided to do a palette bingo and I asked Erica to do the um, selecting with the ran random number generator. Um, let me just show you what those shades are. So we have Dwellers, which is this gold shimmer here. And then we have Ginger, which is this matte. And then Edges, which is this matte. And then we have Soleil, which is the lighter shimmer up here. And then Lituation, which is this darker shimmer over here. So let me show you guys what that looks like swatched out. So guys, I swatched the colour story out on my arm. And this is what we have to work with. So guys, first off, if you don't know who Erica is, which you really should by now, um, I will have both her channel and her video linked in the description box below. Please, please go show her some love. Um, and yeah, if you, if you don't know who she is, she is amazing. She is just such a beautiful, wonderful person. She does gorgeous looks and she needs to start getting the falsies on. Just saying. Um, so yeah, if you would like to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I have absolutely no clue what I'm gonna do. This colour kind of story is, uh, it, it's out of my comfort zone. Bizarrely, it's in most people's comfort zone, but out of mine. Um, so, it's a beautiful palette. The colours that I would generally aim for are not the ones that are in the colour story for today. Um, but I'm first going to go in with Ginger and I'm going to pop that in my crease. Ooh, fair amount of kick up there. So we ch decided to uh, use this palette because I'd recently acquired it. And it's one that, I'm not a massive fan of these brushes, to be fair. Um, it's very scratchy. So we decided to use it just because Erica loves this palette. And I haven't tried it yet. So this is kind of a first impression at the same time for me. And this is a very, very neutral colour. Um, I don't mind it because it's slightly more on the orangey brown side, but yeah. As long as it performs well, that is all I am really looking for. Um, I'm not going to take it onto the lid at all, um, just purely because I have no deep matte to uh, kind of deepen the outer area with really not a fan of this brush i can't use that i can't use that um right let's go for you i'm just going to use a spectrum b07 and let's see if this is any better oh that feels so much better instantly yeah I'm, i don't know what it is about them brushes 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 they just feel so scratchy um this instantly feels better and is doing a far better job of blending this out so yeah guys i am so excited to be collabing with erica again 
my daughter calls her the American me and uh, I love that no matter what's going on whether we're in tears or you know we we're never worried about um like crying in front of the other one believe me Erica has seen me cry a lot and vice versa which makes sense considering we are so similar um our families have kind of become one and it's it's just amazing my daughter absolutely adores her because of auntie erica and we have this um whatsapp group and it's me erica and Dee. Dee. and it is sometimes my savior of the day because they just they're just such wonderful people and if you are here from Erica's channel, then you will already know what a wonderful, wonderful human being she is. She is just, oh, I love her so much. If you hear some barking, etc., we have a puppy. And he is going through the challenging stage of, I know what I should be doing, but I don't want to do it. And I'm going to kick up a fuss. Um... It's kind of like having a baby again. Well, maybe not a baby. A, a toddler. <laughs> a young toddler. And as much as I absolutely adore him, um, he yeah, he can be challenging. But it's been a good thing for me. Um, anyways. Um, Erica has these two gorgeous cats and one of her cats, Reggie, is almost identical to my cat, Mr. Fluff. Um, the only difference is their eye colour. They they're just so cute. Um, my Mr. Fluff was a rescue. He has slight trauma damage to the ligaments and muscles in all four of his legs and very minor brain damage. But... Um, his life didn't really begin until he was a year old and he came to live with us. So, uh, God, I really don't know what to do with these browns, do I? It just looks, they look very brown. Um, <laughs> I'm going to, let me just take a smaller fluffy brush, actually. I'm going to, oh, there's a lot of kick up. I'm going to dip into edges and just take that through the lower part of my crease as a, I had a lot of kick up in this one too, but I don't mind. Um, so yeah, where was I going with, what was I talking about? Um, yeah, Mr. Fluff, he thinks he's a dog and he behaves like a dog. And at the moment he is very much, or he has very much a love-hate relationship with Jace, which is our pup. Um, he loves him when he's sleeping or sleepy and calm and he hates him. <laughs> he's awake and being hectic which yeah, it's kind of understandable when Mr Fluff's 12 years old and Jace is 13 weeks old <laughs> yeah Jace um, is his dad was a German Shepherd was is a German Shepherd cross Belgian Malinois and his mum is a Cocker Spaniel. So he has traits from both. Um, he is so freaking intelligent. I got him some brain games. Well, I thought they'd be brain games. Um, one of them, you... It's like a, a plastic raised paw print. And there are seven kind of like indentations that would fit a cup. And these cups are upside down and you put the food in or treats, whatever you want to do, and then put the cup upside down in the slots. I thought it was going to keep him entertained for ages. I thought it was really going to slow him down eating his dinner. It's going to take him a while to work it out. Um, he'd worked it out within five minutes, leaving me looking like 
an idiot. <laughs> so then I saw this other kind of treat brain game and it's like the frame of a swing but then up here you have three tubes with scrawn lids with holes in the top so you put treats in those three tubes and in order to get the treats out they're meant to pour it spin it the treats come flying out um i think it was only like two minutes two three minutes and jace had worked out that if he put the pour up on each side and pushed it forward with his nose they would just drop out in front of him um, he does enjoy playing with it, so it wasn't like a complete waste of money, but it definitely does not challenge him. It is a nice, quick game. So yeah, it's uh, a bit like that. So it's a bit of a hectic household here, hence the lack of videos, because when I'm here on my own with him, I cannot trust him um, to be good while I'm filming. It's just impossible. Okay, do I use that? Let's, I'm just going to use the other end of this brush and I'm going to dip into Lituation, which is the deepest of all the shades actually that we have to work with today. So I'm going to take that on this little brush and I'm going to be taking that just right on this outer edge. Well, it's not as deep as I thought. Oh, well, we'll work with it. And I'm going to take that right on this outer part here and kind of blend it up and into the mat. I'm not too worried about down here because I'm going to clean up. So, oh, some of the things are coming out of that one. Hmm. Um, some of the hair is coming out of the brush. But yeah, I can't remember where I was at now. <laughs> Nothing new there then, Steph. Um, but yeah, so Erica has two cats. We're both very much animal people. And Erica's daughter, Sydney, has the cutest part Luna. She is beautiful. And I so wish that I could just, you know, hop on a bus to America, <laughs> hop on a plane, um, just to go meet them all in person. One day one day that will happen god this is really bizarre seeing myself in all these uh, neutral shades I don't do neutral if you are not new you'll know this I am all about the color so this really is a challenge for me um, Erica will do a fantastic job because she can it's like she just has this way with neutral. She kind of puts them on and looks beautiful and makes it look so effortless. And I'm just looking at them like, oh my God, it's brown, brown and more brown. What do I do with that? Um, yeah. I'm definitely more confident with bright colours, bold colours. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I am taking it out. A bit but I will be cleaning up so it's not going to look this messy once I've finished I'm just going to take the brush that I used for edges and I'm gonna go over the edges <laughs> with edges oh my god <laughs> I am such a child sometimes yeah that's uh yeah, it's all right. <laughs> it's neutral. Right, I am going to... Did I even say what that... Yeah, I did say what that brush was because it was the OVH one. So I'm going to go in with this um, Odin's Eye Freya brush. It's the FR4. And I'm going to go into Dwellers. Now this one I would use, like, generally. Um, for some strange reason I don't see gold as kind of a, a neutral shade um, I'm going to go over the rest of my eyelid with this Ooh. making sure to kind of blend it up and into the mats just a little bit 
I don't want like a cut creasy effect. I just want a nice blend. It's pretty. I'm not using glitter primer today. Um, I didn't really see the point with neutrals. <laughs> That's so bad. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to see what Erica does. I wonder if we will use the shades in the same kind of way. That's going to be really interesting to see. Yes. Hmm. But Erica is one of just the most absolutely amazing people. She has the biggest heart. Um, we have so much in common, like music, tastes, film, just things will crop up and we're like, oh my god, me too. And it is just so nice. She just feels like family or felt like family right from the very beginning. And now she is family because family is not always blood. Family is the people or are the people that make you feel like home. And Erica makes me feel like home. And I love her to bits. And she just has the most lovely family. Also, it's just really nice. This is, well, it's, it's yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm thinking of this yet, but we shall see when, well, we'll see. Firstly, before I go off and finish my face, today's quite a quick one. Today is quite a quick one. Um, hmm, what do I want to do? I am going to... So I only have one shade left to use and that is Soleil. So this is going to be my inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight. I'm going in with a Zoeva 230 Luxe pencil and I'm going into Soleil. I really was hoping for trust issues but it was not to be. But it will give me something else to do um, when I play with this palette again. It's not as bright as I would usually like for an inner corner, but it is not bad. Not bad at all. I do have to say the shadows perform well, but then I've got the I've got the subculture, the Riviera, and the Liss Edwards. I love them. I did declutter a few that I had before. Um yeah, this is pretty. Let me just take a tiny bit. I just want to see what it will do up here. Oh, okay, yeah, that'll do. Just a little bit of, a uh, little bit of something. Oh, yeah, actually, I have to take some on. Yes, I think for now that is going to do. So I am going to nip off, finish my face, and then come back to show you the finished look and have a quick chat. So if you would like to see that and hear that, chat with me, then don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so this is the finished look and I do have to say that for a neutral look, I'm kind of digging it. I like it. Um, I do have to mention a couple of things I've popped on, popped on my face. Um, everything will be listed in the description box below. Um, on my lips, I've got a lip liner and a lipstick from P. Louise. The lip liner is the shade Standards. And the lipstick is the shade Heights. Um, I love these. This is my first time actually trying them on my lips. I love them. Um, in my waterline, I've got the uh, She Glam Chromazone um, pen eyeliner. It's one of their multi-chrome ones. It's in the shade Zenith. 
oh my god I adore these I have the other two coming my way so good so good and the same goes for the she glam mascara I have this is the one where you have a like curling lengthening wand um, and on the other side you have the volumizing side I absolutely adore this it is so good I haven't got any false lashes on these are just my own with that mascara it's that good that good um the highlighter I've got to give a shout out to because this highlighter is fast becoming my favorite it is from makeup by Lisa it's in the shade strobe um I have that on obviously my cheekbones uh, said from my nose and my cupid's bow but also popped it on the inner corners and brow bone um because i felt it needed some brightening up so guys collabing with my beautiful wonderful sister and friend erica has been an absolute dream and surprisingly i'm enjoying wearing a neutral look who'd have thought that hey um Erica, thank you so much for collabing with me again. You know how much I love you. And we really need to do this again very soon. I'm sure there are plenty of palettes that both of us have in our boxes of shame um, or that haven't been used for a while. I'm sure we can manage something. We'll come up with something. Um, but thank you so much for collabing with me. I enjoyed this a lot more or the look a lot more than I thought I would and uh, when I saw the color story I thought oh my god it's brown brown and more brown um but I actually really like this so I don't know maybe maybe I need to go and have a lay down <laughs> um but anyways this has been so much fun it's my first time trying the Jackie Ina palette and I I like it a lot once I love it maybe I do a little bit who knows I love this look though so yes um i am going to nip off because it's nearly dinner time here um as i'm filming so if you've liked this video please do give it a like thumbs up it really helps me out if you are new if you've come over from erica's channel hi i'm steph i generally do really colorful makeup looks um we have Calm Chameleon every Saturday, which is Makeup for Mental Health. I go live Saturday 3pm. The live chat is like a virtual cafe. Everyone gets together and chats. You will always find Erica there also. Um, so yeah, if you're new, please do hit the subscribe button. And yeah, come and join us. Join the family. Um, so yeah, I hope to see you all again very soon. Take care, guys. Bye.